make me happy every time you smile. We're going to create a beautiful world together. The day after 9-11, Danny and I flew to Pakistan. He was the South Asia bureau chief for the Wall Street Journal, and I was working for French Public Radio. Sorry, I'm so late. I'll call you. Leave your phone off. OK. By the end of January, we were ready to go home. But there was one more interview that Danny wanted. When will you be home? I'm hoping 9 o'clock. Listen, I love you. Danny, how are you? Is everything OK? Why are you? Is there a problem? No, no, there's no problem. I can't get through to Danny. How far are we going? Is it, is it far? Danny had an interview, and he, he's not back. He didn't come home last night. Hello? We're coming to you from the home of Daniel Pearl, the journalist who's been kidnapped in Pakistan. The most important thing for us is to find your husband. There are so many people in this city. How would you find one man? We'll fight kidnappers with kidnappings. Is Daniel Pearl still alive? I thought Jelani was the guy. He was just the bait. Why did your husband have to meet with these people? He's a journalist. I don't think this is the business of a journalist. Forgive me for correcting you, but it is absolutely the business of a journalist. We're doing everything we can to try to locate him and rescue him. He has a gun to his head. And he's smiling. And he's telling me he's okay. If you could say one thing to your husband now, what would you tell him? I love you. This film is for our son. So he knows that his father was an ordinary man. An ordinary hero.